to measure the production of alcohol in your wine, we're going to be using something called a hydrometer. And uh, this is actually just the hydrometer container. Uh, we'll pull the actual hydrometer out here in a minute. Um, but it kind of gives you an idea of this. This says on it, beer at home. So you can order hydrometers online from just about um, anywhere. You can order them from websites and you can do this at home. Um, our hydrometer came from um, somewhere in South Broadway, Inglewood, Colorado. Uh, so I'll go ahead and pull it out. Um, a hydrometer measures specific gravity. And specific gravity tells us about relative density of solution and buoyancy. So when you're looking at a solution that has a lot of dissolved solids and solutes in it, like sugar, for example, you're going to see that the hydrometer is going to float really high. That is, the solution has so, so many solutes in it that it causes the hydrometer to um, have really high buoyancy. It's going to float higher. And so you're going to be able to read um, on the specific gravity scale on this, uh, a specific gravity reading. So if you come in a little closer here, you'll be able to see which scale we're going to be using. This is the scale that you want, and you can find it labeled at the bottom here, um, specific gravity, and that's the scale that we're going to be reading. Now, so this specific gravity scale is the scale that we're going to be reading, and it can be a little bit confusing in terms of how the gradations on the scale are labeled. If you look at the top here, at the very top, where we would have a specific gravity reading of 1.000, that's the only spot on the hydrometer where you're seeing all of the pertinent digits. Everywhere else only shows the hundreds place. So hypothetically, the specific gravity of water with no solutes in it would ride right here at 1.000. Everything else is going to change depending upon solids dissolved in it or in, in, in the case that we're interested in, in the alcohol produced. So notice that the gradations from here on down look like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, but in fact those refer to the hundreds position. So rather than this mark being 10, it actually is 1.010. This is 1.020. A reading that looks like 80 is actually 1.080. So the more sugar that you dissolve in your must to begin your wine production, the higher the specific gravity reading is going to be. A must with a specific gravity of 1.090 has greater potential to produce alcohol than a must with specific gravity of 1.060. So when you go to read the hydrometer, remember that these are hundreds positions. And if you look at the gradations in between those, say, 50 and 60, those refer to the thousands position. And they're, they're uh, gradated by point zero demarcations of 0 0.002. So if you see your reading on the hydrometer is exactly evenly between 50 and 60, your reading would actually be 1.055. Or if you look at these, if it's one mark down from the 50, your reading would be 1.052. And two marks down, 1.054, and so on down. So hopefully this will help in allowing you to read the hydrometer.